Hi everybody, I'm back with AJ at the Growing Grounds Greenhouse and I feel like it's been a long time. It definitely and has. <laughs> yes, we've both been really busy. I mean, you've seen me move house. There's been a lot happening in AJ's life as well, yep. which we're going to talk about in a second. So I thought it's way overdue for me to come down, have a look through the greenhouse, see what's growing. But everything. In this, everything, <laughs> yeah. And in the second part of the video, we're going to talk about the plant collector's fair. Yeah. Because We've that's got a next lot week. Of, yeah, next week. And you don't want to miss it. There is going to be some really amazing plants. Yes. So in case you don't know, or in case you're not from Sydney, so every year there's a plant collector's fair in Sydney. Yep. Um, and this year is the first year where AJ actually has a stall. So yes. she's going to be selling plants, GT, grow verticals, and so on. Oh, no, not grow verticals. No grow verticals. Tim's going to have grow verticals, but well, I'm going to have aroid mix. Oh. Yeah. And so... Yeah. And you've gotten a lot of really nice stock. I know I've been I've been helping you order. <laughs> so I know that you ordered oh, a lot yeah, of really. Oh yeah, you have been helping me order. Yes. <laughs> yes. At least that's way, 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 way too long. But who cares? Yes. We got it all. We got it all. And it arrived. So we're gonna have a little look at the stock. So you get a little preview before yes. next Saturday. Um, you know what you can expect. And if you're not in Sydney and you can't join the plant fair, then well, I'm actually also gonna be filming the plant fair in itself. Yes. So. Nobody's missing out. You're going to get the best of both worlds. Yes, I know. Back backstage, behind the scenes, scenes, and in front of the scenes, you get yes. to experience on both sides. So, so if you do want to experience the plant fair, I'll yes. link the link down below. You actually need to purchase a ticket, yes. um, and I'll be there Saturday, the fifteenth, I think it is. Yes, uh, all day. He's all not day. leaving. <laughs> I'm not letting him leave. He's locked in. He's oh. not going anywhere. <laughs> and AJ is going to be there Friday, no, Saturday Wait, and Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Saturday, yeah, Sunday, Sunday, perfect. Sunday. All the information down in the description, but let's have a look at some plants yeah. because so, this, this is, greenhouse is getting really hard to move in. It's, it is. Uh, you get touched and you get pulled <laughs> and poked and prodded from every plant that's mm. in here, but everything has grown an incredible amount. Like, not just in size, but the collection itself has gotten wildly big. So, nice. Yeah, well, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of the staples you saw last time you were here. And I'm sure if you go back and look in the last tour or well, the first tour, you'll see the, the growth difference. And it's yes. pretty wild. And show me some of the, like, I've seen some new things in here as well. So, let's, um, you know, anyway, yeah. I'll be guided by you. You show me what All you right. think well, is let's, worthwhile. Let's talk about the one that's like the most popular this past couple of months, which yes. has been the White Wizard. Okay. The White Wizard. Well, where can I even start? This was in TC a little while ago. Um, and was coming into Australia and most of these plants were selling for in excess of like $250. And now you can get it for just the small price. This one is nice. I yeah. remember, remember when we did the plant shopping um, yeah. and we compared yeah. all of the White Wizard with the White Knight yeah. and the White Princess. I think we both agreed that White Wizard is the, the, nice, the nicest one out of the, the three, right? The variegation is so good on these. Very stable. This Doesn't vine good. too quickly and the color yeah, it's so nice. Yes, the white is like it. really, really white. Yeah, it's like pure clean. white. It's what people want. So you said the the white wizards have been selling white really well. White wizards have been just so popular, and I mean it's self-explanatory. Yeah. Then a lot of people have been loving like big draping plants, like this pilia. Yes. Everyone loves the pilia. I'm it's so nice. Yes, I'm entering my trailing plant era. In case you didn't know, like I mean I I love well, my climbers, and I will right never. Now. But I have a few setups now yeah. that I'm going to show everybody on. YouTube shortly, but Look I need a few trailing plants, so maybe I'm yeah. not going to leave empty-handed today. I think Pilia Silver Falls is definitely one that is going to be super popular at mm. the fair, and also the Columnia, because, I mean, you know me, I sell Columnias. What was it called, sorry? That, that one's called Pilia Silver Falls. Okay. Nice. No, Pilia Silver Sprinkles. My bad. Okay. Same, same, but different. <laughs> um, the Columnia, there's one behind you, and there's also one right here. So this is my favorite, all-time favorite hanging plant, although I love climbing plants. It's called Columnia Gloriosa variegata. So what I'm picking off there are some of the old flowers and some of these old flower starlets are left. But when they're actually budding, like these ones haven't flowered yet. Wow, look at them, they that's so, so cute. cute. They pop out this beautiful big red flower and it's just one of my favorites because the variegation is like baby pink, dusty pink. That is sick. Yeah, for a hanging plant, for a trailing plant, this one is just stunning. It's one of my faves. It grows so beautifully up high in the warmth, similar to Ripsalis. 
you just have to make sure you keep it watered, that's all. Nice. Yeah. All right, what else do we have? What else? Um, another favorite, even some of the basics, and that's because of you. Yes, I it's love because the... of you. No, I don't. No, it's good. It's Single. a good thing. Like things like the monkey mask, Ad and Sonia. Yeah, why not? I mean, this is this is definitely my Look one of my all time favorite plants. Um, because everyone's when I shit you not seriously, everyone comes in. I want <laughs> yarns Ad and Sonia. Well, this is why I got these. Yes. They are not the exact Ad and Sonia you have. Yes, but they are a, a similar cultivar. They are monkey mask, and they're just more more dense in the um, internodes. And the leaves are just as beautiful. Yeah, I got a good like whole two leaf ratio. Mm -hmm. So happy days. Yeah. yeah, I think mine is subspecies Laniata, or yes. at least that's what I've been told. Which but was the first Adansonia I really to hit the market mm. when they were like okay. quite rare. Another favorite, again, because of you. <laughs> they, they, I wouldn't blame me for all of it, but. No, I mean, it's not a bad thing. No, I mean, I they just them. got good taste, you know? <laughs> and the people have good taste. <laughs> um, Epiprenum Sibu Blue. Mm. These are grown from mature cutting, so they get their fenestration a lot faster. Yeah. Because they're grown by mature cutting. Um, and they're just beautiful. And yeah, so. And yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of people grow them trailing, like really lush, which yeah. I like. But I think, like, if you want the fenestrations to yeah. come out, you have to give it something to climb on, that's right? That's it. That's it. So that's been one of the favorites. Mosteria Bacana. That's the El Salvador, right? Yep. Yeah, you can tell by the silver. You know what I find so weird? Whenever international people message me, they cannot get their hands on an El Salvador. It's like, it seems to be impossible to find outside of Australia. And over here, they're, they're so readily yep. available, right? It's bizarre. I don't understand. But Especially means, because usually Australia, we're struggling getting oh, look, plants here. a really good one, actually. Um, With a new leaf. Look how big that's sized up since I've mounted nice. them. Yeah. As soon as they feel safe and structurally they sound, they start putting out those nice big mature leaves. Do you have a regular yeah. Siltipacana here for comparison? I do not. not? Okay. No. But so the regular Siltipacana I've heard um, and I've experienced a while back, but I can't 100% remember, is when it matures, it actually loses its silver. Yeah. So I've, yeah. Got, I've got both uh, oh, right next you? to each other. Oh, there you go. And, um, the, the regular form, it doesn't mm. actually size up that quickly or like not really at all. Like I, I haven't really now. noticed it yeah. sizing up. And very like but it is just, the holes. It's just getting green basically. Yeah. Um, yeah and especially if you compare it to the El Salvador right next to it, it looks so green, right? If you see it in isolation, you're like, oh my God, there's a little yeah. bit of silver in it. But if you compare it to the El Salvador, so the El Salvador is like decently it's silver. It's beautiful. I love that one. Beautiful. And another one that's been really popular is Ripsalis, but all sorts of varieties and... What a really, mm. really quite sad story about this one is it started flowering on the day that my beautiful old dog passed away, which I thought was so beautiful, but of course I've been crying like a baby since, but <laughs> it's it's just so pretty. Yeah, this one is crazy. And it's unusual where the bud comes from, because see, if you can see right here, which you probably can't zoom in too well, but see there's a little dimple there. Not a dimple, sorry, a little bump. <laughs> and like a little bump there. Mm -hmm. That's what then turns into the bud. And then it turns into the flower. It's so pretty. Do you know what this one's called? I actually don't know this variety. Someone probably can correct me on that. I don't know this particular one, but it's really Oops, pretty. Salas. I may just pick these up. Serapegia. Don't yeah, I thought I, while we're talking apologies, about... Apologies, I don't know the pronunciation. Yeah. And I can't remember. I'll have to Google it or you can put the full name yeah. up. Um, but its nickname is something uh, kind of rude. I don't <laughs> want to say it out loud. It starts with a P and ends with an S and it's and not it's plants. And it's not plants, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think everybody can pretty much tell what we're referencing. Which is crazy. But this is weird. So basically, it's, it doesn't actually... Is, is these, those is are that, the leaves. Oh, wow. Those are the leaves. So these are okay. the tiny little leaves, right? And then it grows a lot of stem. And it does this beautiful little coiling every now and then, where it will just coil either around itself or just freely in the air. Mm. And then it flowers, these ginormous flowers, which just seems abnormally out of proportion. But yes. it's so... <laughs> I just love it. It's so cool. So Very interesting. Very yeah, different. I'll right? have these at the fair. They won't be flowering this much. They've just, like, for example, this one here has just started flowering. That one I'm going to keep as a show plant, but there will be plants available that are at flowering stage, which nice. will be really cool. Uh, another big one that's been so popular this season is Caladiums. Well, like, but the season's it, kind of over for Caladiums, isn't yes it? Yes and no. Yeah? Obviously, they die back a bit. You'll start losing your leaves, similar to Alocasia. But because of our seasons being so late and the change, they're absolutely powering through. And I've got a couple of different colours still available, like more of a rusty orange. This one here, which is really cool. 
with its color. Do you know what so it's mix, called? I just, I honestly, I just call them variety and I make up names. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just mean, there that are one so nasty. many with caladiums as well. Yeah, right? this like, one, this one specifically, this one's the Thai, pink Thai. Okay. So that'll mature beautifully. Um, and then I've got a couple of others in the background there, some freckles, but I also have a really brilliant red one down here, or pink one, you could almost say, which yeah, is stunning. Pretty. And it's like stained glass, so like you can see. Oh yeah, you can see through. Kind yeah, of. it's so nice. They've been so popular. Here's another one. Oops. Oh no. Yeah, there's another one. They've been like super popular this pretty. season. And they're all just variety, like we don't, they don't really, yeah. Some of them have some names, but to be honest, they're just like variety similar to like how to go and just have tons of varieties as well. Now, since I have a garden, like mm -hmm. I feel like what the th what I'm looking for in plants has changed a lot since I moved. So now I'm looking at like everything that I could know. survive all, outdoors. All and the I'm things looking... I wanted to get in <laughs> ages ago, now we can have yeah. them. And things that are trailing, these are kind of like the opposite of what I used to look for. Yeah. I used to look for like things in, like that can grow inside and um, climbers. Yes. Now I want trailing plants and plants that can go outside. So I'm... I'm really yeah. liking anything alocasia, colocasia related at the moment because I feel like they have gonna have a good time in my garden. So what do we have here? I really love that and I want this for my garden, thank you. So, I cannot, <laughs> here you go. Wait, no, I'll take it off you. No, okay, okay, you, seem, no okay. you seem really busy with so, all these plants. I need to take some off you. What so, have we got? I cannot remember if this one is gecko or limeade. I can't remember, so I'll, Jan will link it down below once I find out. How am I? Okay, you're going to find out for me. Because I can't remember, one of them has a pink sinus. This is not the pink sinus one. The pink sinus one is a different one. So if I can find out which one yes. that one is. Let me know and I'll put it up on screen. But I <laughs> love that. And they can grow decently large as well, Yes, right? and I've been growing um, mojito too. I've only just started. So these I are some will of actually the... take this home. Okay, Thanks. no worries. <laughs> one of everything. Yes. I'll take one of each, <laughs> please. And then I've been um, growing myself and with another grower, actually. I've partnered up with another Sydney grower, which is brilliant. So um, really growing the mojito. And I've only finally learned how to really care for these guys and get them growing well. And oh my God, I've got to teach you so many tricks. Ooh. So many colocasia tricks. Are you teaching us now? I can. Or, yeah. Do you want me to? So. Just give me your f top three. Top three? It, this is very specific. <laughs> in a small pot, only three dynamic lifter pellets per three months. You hide in here and it helps the roots grow like crazy. You water with GT, but you've got to change the water. If you don't have like a pump and it's not in like a pond or something, yep. you need to change the water over at least once every two weeks. When you mean change water over, you've actually got them sitting in a tray of water. So you're talking about that water that it's sitting at? Yeah. That needs to ch be changed every... Yes, every, okay. every at least two weeks. So these plants don't actually like drying out at all, right? They're like at money. No, and it's really interesting because I, it took me years to figure these guys out. Um, I would put them in a really dense mix because I knew they like to be moist and, mm -hmm. and I thought that would be the key and it's not. So you put them in, I use my chunky aroid mix or you can use Lekka or Mab or Pon or any of those mm -hmm. mineral things, mineral mixes. Um, obviously I use a chunky aroid mix because that's what I've got. Uh, very small tight pot. You do not want to go up size yes. in pots. You want a very small tight pot all the time. They do not like being in big pots and keeping it in water all the time. I'm going to put it in my garden. We're going to make your pond. We're going to make a little <laughs> freaking pond. <laughs> ne make next year, pond. next year in spring. I'm make but I'm going to put it in my garden. Frogs. But, but I'm going to put you're it in my fish. garden. You're going to have goldfish, Jan. I have a cat. Exactly. <laughs> Brad. We're going to get you some goldfish. Okay. Right, we're getting Brad a pet. But yeah, so these guys are like super easy to grow. They just love bright light, really bright yes. light. But when I say bright light, it, they can still be in a shaded part of your garden because outside, the, the, the light outside is like intense anyway. Would you ever consider growing them indoors? I personally would be super afraid of growing well, them indoors. I just I mean, feel like spider mites, not enough light. Like it's going to be hard, right? I would recommend if you are going to have it indoors, have it in a really warm, hot, if in a hot spot. So if you've got a room that's just really hot and gets mm. a lot of direct sun through the window, having it somewhere close by there because that's the only way you're going to guarantee it's going to get enough light and warmth and create humidity by the water that's in the actual tray or tub that yeah. you keep it in. Sweet. <clears throat> but over the overall outside is the best bet. Yes. I mean, I can get them to grow like this in here. But if you want to get them to thrive, like the ones I've got down the end, they get direct sun in the morning for a couple of hours every day. 
And so they do this really, one. really well. But they could do way better. Is that the same one? Is it yep. the mother plant? Okay, so that's yeah. the mother plant of that little one that I'm going to steal. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. yeah, they will grow so much better with um, direct light, either nice. early morning or late arvo, or protected by bigger trees and just dappled sun all day long. I've got a corner where I just planted a few cannas, mm -hmm. like canna lilies, and I know they're like a kind of swampy as well, so they're usually like a little, little bit more moist, you know. We're going to so, build yarn upon. So that's the next YouTube video, building yarn. <laughs> no, no, upon. that's like next year's YouTube video. <laughs> that's <laughs> not probably the next not anytime video soon. we're going to do together, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Given how busy we are these days, oh but. Um, but yeah, I reckon if a canna can survive over there, they should survive over there as well, right? They're oh, both like light, they're both like moisture, so... And it's protected, in that corner, it's protected yes. in the wind. Yes. And that's a big thing too, because these can break and bend Yeah, so because they're really ling... Yeah. So especially in the early days when they're growing out and you're getting multiple leaves, being protected is the most yeah. important part. There are other things that are doing well in here, stuff that I don't sell as like my personal collection stuff, like some of the Hoyas, which I'm just amazed at the peduncles that are coming up on some of these things. They're just absolutely loving life, and I'm yeah. not. I'm not a hoya. I'm not a hoya girl, but they're absolutely growing. I'm like so not a hoya girl for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, but look at it, peduncle, yeah. peduncle, Everywhere. peduncle, heaps. Okay, and then some like I like too. that. Oh yeah, two rando ones there. It's doing so well. Look, that's nice. I just, I think. I just don't like Hoyer. I, when I think of Hoyers, I think of these shelves with like 300 different Hoyer and varieties. It's just like a mess. And they have like two leaves each. Like that is just <laughs> giving me anxiety. But if you actually yeah. have like a plant like this yeah, and a nice it's display and nice. it's naturally taken advantage of like the infrastructure in here, it like it looks nice, mm -hmm. right? It looks natural. I, just, I can never move now. As yes, to because better. of this, specifically because of this Hoyer, you Hoyer. can't move. Everything else would be fine, but that Hoyer. Like That's has it. to stay. <laughs> and then of course, the last section. Yes, we do need to talk about climbers. Like, okay, like I mean, I'm I'm loving the outdoor plants and I'm loving the trailers at the moment, but of course I want to talk about some climbers yeah. as well. well and yeah. you've made some changes to your greenhouse. I so we are at the end of the greenhouse now and what you've done since I came last is you actually removed the middle shelf. So you've yes. got a few bigger poles now, which is you know what I'm here for, of course. I had no other Looks option. Amazing. <laughs> I had no choice because some of these plants have gotten so big that there's just simply no room for them anymore. I'm going to get one... Wait. This one... Where do we even start? To, Let's start here. Pick, Let's start well, here. I don't want to pick this up, but I think if you guys remember... Yes. ...in our first video, this had maybe four or five leaves. It was pretty big I back then already, no, but, but not that big. I actually like, looked at the video, it really wasn't. It was halfway up the it pole. It was here, I think. And there was, was no here. sphagnum in the top half. And I think this was the biggest leaf. And look how thick the stem has gotten. Yeah, that is it's incredible. Just crazy. Wow. I mean, look at this size up from down here. So that would have been all pretty much <laughs> within a year, right? Like that. Yeah. yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> So and this, roots I'm thinking everywhere. About, I'm thinking about taking this to the Collectors Plant Fair, possibly just to show people, but it really depends if I have enough space. <laughs> but Fair yeah, enough. this is how it's just, yeah, that's the newest leaf. It's decided to reach all the way out over there, wow. which I'll have to tie it in soon because I already tied these ones, but then that one popped out. Jose Bueno, huh? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Loving it. Splendid. Splendid. Are these all from my cuttings? That one is yeah. from yours, yeah. Nice. Glorious is my one that I grew from small uh, plants. Yeah, Glorious here. Beautiful. Yep. And then oh, it's nice in comparison. Yeah, I really like it because it's the same size. Love the red sinus. And, and then, then next to that is a little hidden gem that I got recently. It's a variegated lanyata. Oh, okay. Atonsonii lanyata. It's hiding in there. Two vines. One's really variegated and the other one's like half half. It's looking a bit nice. like a pothos at this stage. Yeah, it's beautiful, You need to give though. it a bit more time to mature, it's right? It's getting there. It's getting there. Where's that leaf up there? So we're getting there. Slowly but surely. I used cocoa chips for that one because I didn't want to overpower it, but it's doing quite well. And you completely ignored this one. Oh, Joe P.I. Joe P.I. Uh, Joe P.I. Yuppie, yuppie. Yeah, or U.P.I. <laughs> I'm not really sure which one. I'm not really sure, but you're bringing some of these to the fair, right? Maybe. 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 Well, we're going to talk maybe, about it in maybe. a second. Yeah. Another one I want to talk Can about, you? I know you like your Aurea, but it looks, I don't know, I don't like yellow leaves. I want to talk okay, about this. Okay. What not, is this? It's not looking the best it could be because it's getting used to being here. But it is, oh, I can't remember, Raffidophora something. Okay. We will get the correct name. I just cannot remember, but I'll pop it below. It's only new. It didn't really travel very well, but I actually am getting some of these for the fair. Oh. Yeah. 
that they're already graining on their totems, so they're doing quite Beautiful. well. Beautiful. Um, and of course, my obsession of Milana Chrysum continues. <laughs> uh, there's some better leaves actually under here, hiding. And then another one. Is of that Chazza? Is it Chazza? Is that Chazza from the first video? Yeah. Wow, she sized up so nicely. Yeah, Chazza's I mean, looking great. I bought a Chazza after we filmed that first video yeah. and it's still tiny. I, I just have Shazza not really there. had success with it so far. I have some cuttings, some Shazza cuttings that I've just popped to shoot, so I might might take those to the fair too. Oh, and those one, epi variegated Epipermum panatum. Yep. Well, look at the size difference. Look at what it started yeah. off like. Look Tiny at, little Look at that back. size difference. So it started like that, and then within just one pole. Yeah. It's gotten some decent size and yeah, decent fenestration. It's, it's interesting because it did some really good fenestration inside when I had it in the tent, and then I brought it out here, and it's changed. But it's, it's going through this weird stage. Yeah. Mine did the same. Like at the moment, it's going through it's this weird stage weird where stage. every leaf is a bit random, but it's gonna sort itself out. Yeah. There's one more on this side before we move oh, to the other side. Yeah. Look at that. She's I a bit thirsty. I need to give her a take soak. Her down? I need to give her a Ooh, soak. that is so pretty. I know. You can't steal this one, Jan. It's mine. No, I won't steal that one. I'm reasonable with my stealing. Are you? I wouldn't call it stealing. I borrow it. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. Well, I actually, to be fair, I get lots of cuttings from you, so. <laughs> yes, that's um, true. This is uh, Philodendron Florida Beauty. I love this plant. That's um, pretty. It actually didn't do too well for a little while and lost a lot of the lower leaves. But what I did, because I have it on a grey vertical, I actually snipped a few nodes and I let it grow out. So I've actually got three shoots on this now. Because I've heard people always complain about this plant not liking, uh, this plant not liking to be propagated. So growing it on a oh, vertical and then 100%. chopping it, it's like, yeah. like a no brainer. You can see here where I've chopped. So I chopped um, there, right there, and then that's the new shoot. And then I chopped right there, and then that's the new shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you creepy bad. And turn it around because yeah. is that the eco like this is the um this is the dark translucent okay and you because can you can see... still see the roots but it's giving you oh, a bit yeah. of darkness it just so, to be honest I just feel like it stops the algae a little bit mm. but you still get it on the front anyway so it doesn't really matter fair enough it'll make a difference so that baby has been loving life in here actually um, because it's so variegated the lower humidity in here compared to the tent's been doing wonders it's slowed because sometimes the yellow can. Um, if it's too, bit. yeah, if the yeah. variegation, if the, if the humidity is too high, yeah, yeah. but if it's too low, then it also goes crispy, so you need to find that sweet spot. But it's enjoying it in here, so that's good. Beautiful. But then this one, oh, it's so basic, but I freaking love it. I think that was in our first video as well, if yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah, but not as we good as this. It's briefly. I finally put it on a pole about here, and I mean, if you have a look at the stem, you can see the internodes have completely changed. They've gone from being kind of thin, leggy to being really short and close together. Nice. And it works wonders with this plant because it's got such long leaves. So the more of them, the fuller it looks. Yeah, and it has crazy, yeah, sun crazy colors. Like That's a bit of sun stress, okay. but then the newer leaves come out with more of an orange hue yeah. and the red stem, and then they fade to more of a green and yellow. And I think this overseas is called Philodendron Marmalade. Okay. I think it has a different Jesus, name. Jesus, people come up with random names, yeah. hey? Well, we call it Autumn <laughs> Queen, so okay. it's just as random. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's just as random. But what everyone... I want to talk about this one. Yeah, Can we talk about this one? Everyone talks about, and what you guys have seen probably through my reels and through yes. your YouTube, is this guy here. Let's get him down. Beautiful. <laughs> it's as nearly as tall as me. Oh, my God. I'm having <laughs> the hardest time with my brandy. I just hate it. This I just is like... Get on. It's growing like crazy now, but... I have to give it more GT because that's the only thing that's going to take it to that next level of maturity. And I just, yes. I, I don't give it as much as I should. And I should be doing it every water. Fair enough. I, but I mean, I can understand where you're coming from because now it's I, really ha tricky. I have <laughs> discovered the ease of hosing down your plants. So I'm actually investing quite a bit of money in getting, an, uh, I think, and don't quote me on the pronunciation, a venturi system, which is pretty much just like a pump system that can pull from an outside source with the PSI um, of a tap. So, oh, nice. And yeah. then I'll be able to pull up the GT, mix it in with the hose, and just hose it Blast it. Everywhere. it. Yeah, because it's just going to be better yeah, for the long run. Yeah, I mean, run. honestly, this is doing so well. It's one of the most, more mature brandies I've still, ever seen in real life, but I've seen them it's online. It's got this beautiful silver backing, which I don't think it'll ever lose. Yeah. It's just stunning. No, I mean, it looks exactly like the smaller leaf, just bigger. Let's give it a shake. 
Have you noticed SCG. everybody's shaking their plants on the internet now? <laughs> Everyone is. Like the amount of uh, AKA shaking. AKA me. <laughs> the, the, the amount of shaking Oxalis uh, reels I've oh, seen everywhere. just over the last few weeks or everywhere. months, you know. But it's the best way to show your plants off. Oh, it's got a sexy backside as well. So. Booty. I mean, that. Uh, Still very fine roots, so I definitely yes. recommend sphagnum moss with the brandy, similar to the varicosum. I wouldn't do cracker chips with this. I mean, it still has a really thin stem as well. So the thin. stem hasn't really Same sized up Same as Milana Chrysum. Yeah. I always say do um, sphagnum in a thinner pole. It's just mm. worth it, honestly. Like, it's, I mean, the leaf size and the stem really hasn't changed. I mean, actually, it has. If you look how skinny that tiny little stem is down the bottom there. Compared to the so okay. small. And also, with, I hate it when the stem is super skinny because I just feel like I'm worried about stem rot as well. Yes. Like it can just yeah. easily just get messed up. But this so. is three grow verticals. So this is three pro poles nice. on top of each other. And it's like, what, 190 or so? Yeah. Like I'm 180. Okay, something I just want to talk about because I need to say it every time I mention this because I am sick of it. <laughs> sick of people going, where do you get your materials from? These are called grow verticals yeah, I get they're that. called grow verticals <laughs> they aren't sold i don't buy them from bunnings it's a specific product that i sell my eyes gonna pop out my head grow <laughs> vertical <laughs> no. no no it's an actual brand like it's a branded product yes and it's it's tim's and i sell it here and it's called grow vertical grow vertical <laughs> But don't worry, I get that. Oh, radical, great radical. You don't okay. believe Let's I said story that. Story time, story time. So oh, no. AJ and I are watching Maths, and in case you don't know what Maths is, is married <gasps> at first sight. Don't watch it. Watch my YouTube videos instead. Yeah. But we were watching Maths, and <laughs> the lady was saying uh, this day and age, and then AJ is like, "Oh my God, I hate it when people like mispronounce <laughs> sayings. Like, why is she saying this day and age? It's called this stone age." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, AJ. So and can I just add, I'm 35 this year. <laughs> I've been saying that my no, whole like, entire life. And, and then, I'm not, nobody like, ever corrected her until I'm like, AJ, you realize she was right. You're wrong. So what do you mean? And I was like, it's called this day and age because Jan's it's like today. Jan's like, there's only been one stone age. I know, the thing is, the thing is, I know this. I actually know this. But like, I know, I just no, in Asia's life, there's been many stone ages. <laughs> <laughs> this stone age. This. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Okay. Oh. Um, back to... Uh, <laughs> I just did just the look of confidence in your face. Oh, when you said it, it's like, I hate it when they do that. I'm so out of it. I'm okay. so sure about this. I'm so, <laughs> so sure. sure okay. I've said it. I've said it in so many occasions, and it's not something you say blase either. You no, say you're just like this. You say it in serious conversations. <laughs> it's definitely like not something you just. Yeah, it's like and you probably said that I in like meeting. This is why I look for meeting. a career in plants. <laughs> At least also, it was just in front of me, but I've been telling everybody. I know, <laughs> I told everyone too, because I was just so, couldn't believe. It's like one of my favourite stories of the month, or like the year so far. Probably the highlight of in 2023 so far. What is wrong with me? Why did I think that was a thing? <laughs> That's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so over here we've got Epipremnum Skeleton Key. and I mean, I'm, I'm convinced I'm going to make this cool, this plant. It is already it. pretty cool. It's still quite small, but I mean, the shape, if we're looking at the way the plant started off, looked really, like, boring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no offense. Really boring. <laughs> really boring. But then as it matures, it really gets mm. this key shape, right? So you can... And it's a very fast grower, I have to say. Like, this happened very quickly. I think I only mounted it, like, what, no more than three months ago. Yeah, I remember when, yeah, I, when, we fir when I first came, it was... It wasn't long. Yeah. And another thing this does as well is it actually just throws offshoots off the main stem a lot. Like, oh, yeah. There's one there as well, like, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one there. Like, just straight out of the main stem, like, no cuttings or nothing. Beautiful. So it's going to be, even though it looks a bit sparse on the top, it's going to be quite full. Um, I think some of the vines just kind of outgrew each other. Yeah, it always happens. Yeah. One is like it's the, bizarre, one is the alpha, you they, know. Yeah, they happens all start at the same family. time. <laughs> one is just a favorite child. Yeah, like, yeah. No. I'm my mom's going to watch this one because my mom doesn't no, watch, no. My mom doesn't watch sorry, my videos mom. unless AJ's in it. Like, she's like, I don't watch her videos. They're boring. It's but okay, when mom, AJ's okay, there, okay, when fine. AJ's there, she's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't understand what you're talking about, but she's so funny. <laughs> I love your mom. I was like, thanks, mom. Hi, mom. Anyway, so mom. 
I'm the favorite I... child now. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and then you've got your lupinum next loopy, to it. Loopy. I mean, it is increasing in leaf size. It is, and it's starting to get more um, rabbit ears. Yeah, it got cute. the little rabbit ears. So just, I mean. And then I also mounted a mandula because I wanted to be like yarn. Yes, and it's getting there. <laughs> And last one before we head outside, this is philodendron rugosum. Mm, yes. So it's still growing, going strong, growing strong, is it? Lost a few bottom leaves, but I think it was just due to some uh, moisture issues we had, just a bit too wet, too moist. Mm -hmm. um, so I took those off because I just didn't want it to be a problem. But the top is just, you can see where I mounted it when it got to here, and that was when I mounted it. The internodes are just so short, and you can't even see the stem really. And there's another one that I wanted to point out, but AJ just told me she actually has got a bunch of these and she's bringing to the Plant yeah. Collector Fair, which is probably a good segue for us to go outside and let's yes. have a look at all of the stock AJ is going to bring yes. so you know what's so let's just awaiting you. magically jump out to the table, ready? <gasps> <laughs> that was magic. We moved like a meter. Yeah, <laughs> so like cool. we needed that transition. We could have <laughs> actually just jumped that. We could have just walked. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. What have you got? This is Peperomia zangchao variegata. Interesting fact. We came across a leaf on a normal plant, like a normal green plant, like this one. Let me grab it. So we came across a variegated leaf on a normal standard green one like about four years ago. Okay. I took it to my grower, I said, what can we do with it? And he wasn't very confident that we could do much with it because it was tiny. It was like literally the size of this leaf. And we will manage to turn it into probably like 20 mother plants, Ooh. Um, which we have now grown out stock plants that I'll be selling for the first time at the Collectors Plant Fair. Wow. And they're stunning. They are so, I mean, they are so leathery. Yeah. It's super weird. Like I've never it's really unusual. seen like a variegated leaf that is, has well, so much structure. Yeah. And like, so it's very weird. Like it's not it's even- It's got many layers. Did you say it's a peperomia? Yeah. It doesn't look like a peperomia. I mean, that you can tell by the flowers, but- Yeah, you can, yeah. But the, wow. say so I have almost 99.9% .9 confidence that we're the first one in the world to be able to produce this with stable wow. variegation. I don't, have not been able to find anywhere that has these or grows these. Um, they're grown by cutting, we've not tea seed it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking to protect it as, at all costs yeah. and be the only growers. So they'll be available at the Plant Collectors Fair. Yeah, and then the first time. If there's any left, I doubt it, I reckon they'll sell like hotcakes, but if there's yeah. any left, will you put them up on your website? Yeah, I'll put them online, we'll for see. sure, for sure, for sure. But they're just gorgeous. Um, and this is my, this one I'm gonna keep as my mother plant because it's just so, I just yeah, love it. Yeah, no, keep it. Um, and it just grows so well in greenhouse conditions, indoor conditions, just anywhere. Obviously you have to just adapt how you care for it. We either yep. letting it dry out or keeping it moist if it's in a greenhouse. Um, but it's just a good all rounder. For a variegated plant, it's a good all rounder. So AJ, tell me, what else are you bringing to the plant fair? I'll tell you in a second, wait. Hey, oh wow. Quite a bit. <laughs> <sighs> I should have I should have covered my nose. Actually, maybe not. Yeah. More plants might have come out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a little sample of what you're gonna bring. Very little sample. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, there I is, see. I've seen the greenhouse inside. There's you're a lot. Bringing a lot. Yes. So let's just go through some of them so people know what to expect. Um, but yeah, a lot of these come from far north Queensland from an amazing grower. Um, that has been happy to share them with me so I could bring them to the fair. But I mean, let's talk about the obvious one. Yes. The one that everyone always asks me about. This beast right here. So this is... Uh, this is white vein gloriosum, non-tissue yes. culture. So you're going to find that this grows super similar to gloriosum, but with these most amazing white veins. Um, and it's an incredibly fast grower. And um, I mean, this type of gloriosum i've seen it being quite common in european countries yes yeah. but over here in australia it was so it was pretty much impossible to get your hands yeah, on one of those over definitely. the last two to three years they're only really now coming or becoming available so yeah. and these are already decent sized specimens and um, we hopefully will have these more regularly after the show as well but for the show there's only four and I might be taking one on it here. Yeah, no. <laughs> so no, actually, I'm on, a, I'm only... on a bit of a plant bay ap apart from the colocasia. Yeah. I only get plants that can go in my garden at yes. this stage yes. or trailing. Yes, but yeah, only very minimal amount, very limited amount. So like a lot of these things, you've got to get in fast. Alrighty, okay. and next we've got... The beautiful Picasso. So this is a spathophyllum. Phyllum. Spathophyllum. Wow. I, I would say, I don't okay, know. Okay, that's right. Spath no. Spathophyllum. Uh, AKA Peace Lily. 
uh, but this is a variegated version. So you get these beautiful white patches throughout all the leaves. This one's a little bit thirsty, so yeah. just ignore how floppy it is. But yeah, look at that stunning leaf. And then we've got the Florida Ghost. Yes, um, one of my faves. I love this one because it starts out really nice and yellow and starts to fade to more of a, like a minty yeah. green. And yeah. with those as well, it actually the variegation is light in, or like you, with brighter light, you can bring out more yeah. white in yeah. the rhyme. And then yeah. the mint is basically, you're not quite giving it enough light. So. Not enough light and oh, humidity is a good, good one too. So if yeah. you can give them that, you're going to get some nice bright whites. This is a super special one right here. Right this here, oh, I love this. So this is a new hybrid. It is Luxurian's Cross Forgettii. It's gorgeous. Mm, it looks nice. I don't know if the so, camera could be, it's kind of like shiny as well, but has like really nice It's got really a blue nice shine to it. Beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. So I'm only gonna have a very few of these, but definitely one you wanna add to your collection if you're into anthuriums. So the, I'm I, super excited about this one. This is actually the smallest one in the group of them that I got. It's, they are ginormous. Look at it. <laughs> Sorry, I have to, I see a big plant, I have it's to shake ginormous. it. It's ginormous. This is a philodendron tortum. It's, this is a double planted one. I'm yes. actually going to separate this and put them on grow vertical so people can have a go at the grow vertical thing. Yes. Um, I'm super stoked to have these. They're so like Jurassic plants. Look at, I love this. Look at yeah, the new, little new curly. growth point. It's like super yeah. curly. It looks like, yeah. like, a, like a horn. A little pig tape. Yeah, look, look at these little it. horns. That's cute. I love it. But I'll have quite a few of these, so um, you'll be able to get one and they'll be on stick totems and you can transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm losing it slowly. <laughs> slowly but surely. You can transfer these to fatty long to um, grow verticals and they'd yes. be super happy. And let's have a look, quick look at all of this, this tray. So before we yes. look at these, so they come mounted. You bring them to the I'm fair mounted. Yeah, I've mounted quite a few different things. Some more common stuff, some of the rare things, just because, first of all, it's just an easy way to transport them. They're better, they, they're yeah. more stable. Plus, it's just so people can have a go at growing vertically. Yeah, and it's super um, convenient. You don't need to buy like a pod, an aeroid mix, that's and it. something for in the pole. You and can so on. You try just the one stop the, shop. Yeah, the, Love that. you can try the cocoa chunks, or I've got something with um, the sphagnum moss. And of course, you've got the option of just buying these with whatever filler you want on yeah. the day between Tim and I. So, we'll beautiful. Have all of but it yeah. There. But I mean, uh, that explains why the hell you've been so busy making up all the pods and filling them and potting them, them up. That's crazy. Sleep. Yes. I found <laughs> zip ties in the shower the other day. That's how terrifying it is. So, so this we've one, got an SDI. Yeah, don't ignore the label. I've been recycling some pots. Yes, beautiful. Uh, philodendron and SDI, love that one. Giant leaves, as you've seen yarns, yes. they get so big. But we started off on a mini pole until it grows up. We've got a, one of the more common uh, philodendron Milana Chrysler, which everyone loves. All time favorite. All time fave. So I've, I've got quite a few of those coming on poles so people can get it and have a chance of growing it if you're new to plants. Let's do this one. Let's do the little one, yes. Oh, so I've Let only me, got a handful of these. Variegated Peru? Yes, variegated nice. Monstera Peru. I haven't mounted these because they just don't have enough stem yet, but they're so gorgeous. A very small handful of those. How, how fast can I do it between planes? Ready? Two ends setting hairs. <laughs> 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 okay, out of my okay. mouth. Two Adansoni eyes. One is the white variegated Adansoni eye. That is everyone has. And then the second one is variety mottled adansani which not many people have which i've got a few of that they will be there they'll have really cool fetishations sorry just for reference <laughs> there's been so many plans i just trying to squeeze in all the words between plans for anybody who didn't want to watch this on half speed this is a mottled adansani apparently a down. thailand form or something like that i think that. it's a thai form i could yeah. be wrong but I'll, I'll, I'll double check on that yeah. but it's really cool because it's a lot nice it's leaf a lot to like hold to leaf ratio i like that yes often the mottled varieties look a little sick to me I this like one looks this one. okay and then we've got this one it's just a normal, normal normal yes okay. so we've got the normal there with some cool variegation just on that note remember when i posted my video about my little variegated out in sony eye yes. and it was just reverting yes. to all white and like yes. i had so many tips from people online somebody was like you need to water yeah, it with so just milk so you know i bought you these with <laughs> i bought these with goat's milk and i've been keeping them in the cupboard in pitch black dark yes. for the past 24 hours and they're doing really well <laughs> <laughs> Stop <this. laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but honestly, I've, like, I've been getting so much advice on how to revert, like, not have it revert to all white. Oh, and it's just like, guys, you cannot cheat the DNA, no, yeah. right? There's, like, there's no changing or what, there's nothing you can do different. So, yes, I gave it less light. And yes, the leaves didn't go full white. They just stayed a little bit more cream green niche. Yeah. But not like 
chlorophyll green. Like not like I can actually survive. Look, the whole thing But is what happened is because I'm not giving it enough light, it stopped growing. So it, <laughs> it had just two leaves and those two leaves then just absolutely turned mm. into mush because yeah, they're melted. essentially still just white, right? So yeah. now the whole plant actually died. Instead of at least it continuously growing white leaves, there's nothing That's left. That's it. So the only way I can advise people when they've got plants that are doing high variegation is get them on grow poles because mm. When it's growing up the grow pole and it's rooting into the pole, even though you're still growing a plant that's highly variegated, at least you've then got it already rooted, so you've got the option to try and propagate. Plus, every single leaf has a root system, so it's yeah. going to make the plant stay stronger. healthy and stronger. Like, I had, I, I, it's gone now, but at past tense, I was propagating a, an Adansonii that the top half of it was all white. And be, be, because I had it on that grow vertical pole, I was able to propagate all the nodes up to that section. Mm. And then I, where I chopped, I just stopped at that section. And so that top section actually died off, but all of the nodes below yep. are now shooting. And I've got 10 options that might come out three or four good, really good plants, or yep. maybe they'll all come out good plants, who knows? But at least you've got that option. Yeah, at least. If you've got it on a yeah, pole. Yeah, whereas if you would have done single node cuttings, they would, 20 of them would they all melt. half of them would already die before yeah, they even grow a root, right? They don't even, you can't even, yeah. But anyway, lesson learned. Let's Listen move on. I know. No Just no wanted comments. to address the Adansoni I think <laughs> because there seems to be a lot of confusion as to you know, variegation. Not all variegation is the same, so just no. be just be aware of that. But, but the, with but, these yeah. regular variegated Adansoni eyes or your Monstera deliciosa variegata, yeah. you know, like the variegation is not induced by light. No. The Florida ghost? Yes. Yes. Like more light, it's gonna turn white, but these leaves will also eventually fade to yes. green. But anyway, these are going to be quite reasonably priced, so giving them a crack and growing them out, and they're healthy plants anyway, otherwise we wouldn't be selling them. Yeah, um, yeah give it That'd a go, nice. why not? Okay, well we've got Anthurium Waterberianum Berianum. I'm yep. not sure how to pronounce it, but it is stunning if you actually Google it when it's mature. It's beautiful. Um, it's the, I've only had these for two weeks because I well, obviously these got shipped down from Queensland, so I needed to let them grow in, but already I have a brand new tiny little leaf coming through on this plant so it's going to overpower hopefully this one and yeah. it's going to look stunning but these are not very common and yeah, I've, I've never seen one beautiful plant anywhere. beautiful Happy plant days. so if you're like i said if you're an ethereum person this is one you want to get your hands on again very limited numbers this <laughs> one is philodendron <laughs> patriciae uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no, no, let's no, just no, call no, no, her no. Patty because we've yeah. got Shazza as well. We're so this Shazza. is Patty. This is Patty. And I do. Um, I need to take a Shazza. No, I need to take a Patty home with me as well. Shazza is so alone. She needs a little Patty she in her needs life. She a Patty so. in her life. Then okay. what else do we have? We've got some queens here. Yes. Okay, let's just leave it at that. We've got we queens. All, we've got. We we're going to have big ones and small ones. Yes. This guy's looking a little bit beaten up but i can promise you he's very happy and healthy he's got really good root what system what is it mamoratum okay purple mamoratum to be exact uh it's a hybrid okay. so a uh, beautiful when the new leaves come out they're beautiful nice um like a mauvey purple color and then they harden to this kind of structure here and it's beautiful so it's, it's due to have another little leaf come up you can't see it but i can it's in here but this is another one that collectors love but it is a much bigger mature plant than most people get their hands on which is really good no, so um, these are decent, so they're, not, they're past the seedling stage yeah, already. Yeah. yeah, so there'll only be a few of these available as well. So last but definitely not least, because I've got so many more that um, are coming, um, but last one for today is the Philodendron Ficardum. Um, this one, I was told, doesn't travel well, and it travelled well, so I'm stoked. Um, it's been potted up for the last two weeks, it's doing really, really well, and we have maybe four. Maybe four. So y'all better be jogging I into think the three now. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, right now I'll, like, I'll keep. I'll, I'll keep. You can keep the stock for the fair. But yes. this one really stands out to me. It's gorgeous. But this one is really cute and it's really different, and I, it just doesn't give me philodendron vibes. So yeah. I would love to see what this can turn into on a pole. Um, uh, definitely, and no one's. I've not seen anyone I've do not, it yet. Yes, I haven't really seen this plant full stop, yeah, so I'm going. really yes, intrigued. It some good aerial roots. It definitely can put this on a pole for sure. Yeah, I think it's just going to be very small internodes, but it's yes. gorgeous, absolutely I'm gorgeous. But definitely a plant I want to get my hands on come spring. But for now, I'm so busy. You know, setting up my new apartment, getting used to outdoor gardening and so That's on. So but you're giving though. me a lot of inspiration. Oh, I just need so to stay things. patient. All right, so thanks for thanks for showing us what you're, you're bringing. Welcome. I'm assuming this is not everything. There is going to be so much more available. 
Um, obviously not just rare stuff, but more common stuff too, so the beginners can have a crack. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have all of the um, Aroid potting mix mediums all in the individual bags, but with also examples of how to mix your own mediums and what's best. And I'm going to be launching the new product from Gresh Technology called Root Zone, so I'm super stoked about that. And I'll have the entire range to come with it as well. So Happy days. There's gonna be lots going on, so. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of people as well. Yeah. Uh, we, you can find us at store 40, is that right? 40, four, store zero, nowhere else, just 40. Store 40 <laughs> and well, so make sure to check out store 40. I'm going to be there all of Saturday. AJ is going to be there all of Saturday and Sunday. And if you <laughs> can't make it to the plant fair, then just make sure to subscribe to my channel because the week after this video, you'll see the video of me visiting the plant fair. So and? you can virtually experience yes, it. Yes, you can virtually experience it. And, and hopefully, if you're lucky, there might be a few special goodies that will go online if there's any leftovers from the fair. So stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, I'll link all of AJ's socials down below in the description as always. Anyway. All right. Anyway, thanks for having us, AJ. Always, always. And we'll see each other next week. Yeah, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Just say a test, test, test. Test. Testy, testy, testicles. Do that again, because I just sounded like a cheerleader. Yes. Okay, let's go. I'm going to okay. stop. Ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. And one, and two, and G. G. Oh, and an G. R. And an R. O, and an W, and an I, and G. Give me a G. G. Give me a G. G. Give me an S. S? G, G's. Oh, no, I shortened it. It's like GGS. Hi everybody and welcome back to <laughs> Why are you laughing at me already? I didn't know you were going to go. <laughs> what is that extra? I know, I know, I know, but I didn't know. Oh, what is this? Okay, no, I let's not get distracted. Okay. Okay. Plane, plane. Oh, no. no but you Hang can on. still make a plane. Uh, plane. We're going to make you a oh, <laughs> plane. <laughs> I know it's rolling. Rolling down the river. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to limbo. I didn't realize that is literally quad face for you. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what the f was that? Same Hang on, every... there's a plane. Oh. Planting my plane. Oh. What? Plane, they... plane, 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 plane. It's plain, hang on. Where there's, they're piggybacking each other. I don't understand. And yes. just a lot of people. I can't believe this. That's not normal. That's that not is normal. crazy. That is not normal. That's on never a public here. holiday as well, you should complain. That's a plane anyway, coming. <laughs> there's another fing plane. Um, holes in hang it. On, plane. Oh, right? Oh, that. Uh, Jesus. <gasps> look at Oh my god, is. look at. Holy mother of God, that is a, that is a, I don't even know. <laughs> Rhianum, what a, plane. one of them. It's plain. <sighs> Qantas this time. I can't even tell you, like, it's shit. So I'm looking at that plane and it's way bigger than what it looks like in the camera. Like the camera looks like it's a thumbnail. It's tiny. It's but actually. It's, it's huge when we're yeah, looking at we it. We can like we can read the writing on the I fucking plane. I can see plane. someone picking their nose. <laughs> and when they would. <laughs> off. That's a, that's impossible. <laughs> Hang on, plane. Um, plane. Can jet star again. And there's a plane. Um, Pause. Just one more plane before we wrap it up. 